What's up, my dude? So, today, working on old Dixie. Uh, it's my 96 F350 7.3 Dana 60 in the front. Um, we're gonna be working on the sway bars. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of projects, trying to get her ready to shoot down south to Texas and Florida. Um, and I don't want no issues, you know, so if she, if she needs it, I'm gonna give it to her. Um, I don't want any hiccups. I'm not trying to get stuck in the middle of, of like New Mexico broken on the side of the road, so we're gonna have some repair videos coming um another thing too uh, i was making one video where i thought i could do a bunch of repairs and show you some cool stuff and some of them started to turn into a long video so if the clips kind of seem like they're bouncing around it's because i just decided to make separate videos so i still got good info and i've already halfway done with the truck so if you see me just like skip back or whatever um and there might be wrong info just know that now we're gonna go through all the correct info right now that I learned. So if, uh, yeah, let's go in the garage. Um, maybe, I don't know, let me show you an old clip what it looked like before. <laughs> and then we'll, and then I'll show you what we're dealing with. Cause she was dirty. <laughs> and then the sway bar bushings, you know, they're not looking too hot, you know. They got like a little bit of play in there. It's definitely a gap right there yeah, you can see it the front's not too bad but now we come down to the rear of this rust bucket Ugh. yeah it's pretty bad it's like, oh god whoa like half that stud is gone for sure and that all metal right there <laughs> and then the back ain't doing much better either so that side's okay but yeah we need to get that fixed so oh and then uh blew out a u-joint you know while we're here let me show you this little trick so i blew out a u-joint it like froze up and it burrowed a hole and basically i couldn't center the drive shaft and uh i put this dime in there and it's been holding up pretty good i already you know probably got a couple hundred miles on it pulled the camper thing drives real smooth now <laughs> But yeah, the, the drive shaft, I used to be able to grab it, and I used to be able to always go kick, 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 kick. And it's been like that for the last year. <laughs> so, got that fixed. But yeah, so now sway bar stuff, so yeah, me. But other than that, uh, this old rust book has been doing good. Uh, so, yeah. But, alright guys, well, let me take you in the garage and show you all the parts. Okay guys, so I've already got everything removed off the truck. Um, kind of show you the, the ones before. Um, they're not too hot. Um, one of them just snapped clean off. That was about all that was left on her, um, which is fine, made for an easy removal. Um, and then we got all the hardware out and everything. Um, kind of wasn't too impressed with my hardware, to be honest. Some of it I did clean up with a wire wheel and it came out okay. I like guess one looks okay, but I don't know about that nut. But that's that's kind of what they all looked like when I pulled them off. So I just decided to get all new hardware, um, new links, and everything. So uh, let's talk about just the links. Um, the rears are a little longer than the fronts, so do not get four of the same ones. So if you look at these two in the middle, let's see your front, and that's your rear. And you can see the rear ones are probably about an inch longer. So keep that in mind, get two rears, two fronts. And then um, for the bolts, all the bolts on the top are the same, but the front does need a washer. Um, and that's because there's just like a one-sided bracket. That's why there's not a double bracket like the rear. So get four bolts. And so the factory bolts are an M12, uh, I wrote it down right here, or an M12, and they're 55 millimeters long. And then the bolt fatness right here is what 11.82 millimeters fat, and which equivalents to four, yeah, 0.47 inches, which is about a half inch. So I went with this half inch bolt, which is two and a half inches long. So get you four of these suckers. Um, they fit freaking great. Oh, look, that's tightening. Come on, come on, Jesus. Um, they, they fit great in the truck and they fit great in here. And I'm just assuming with that tolerance, they're just gonna fit a lot better than an M12. 
So I think that's the correct bolt instead of an M12. And then like, you just got a lot more, a lot more of the not threaded part than this part. So I, I think these are a lot better bolt. So get you four of these, four fancy nuts. These flange nuts lock themselves in. They're not perfectly circle. Um, they're at the hardware store. Like this one, you can really tell it's oblonged. So there, you don't need thread locker or really anything. These suckers stay on. And they get you two washers. So four nuts, four bolts, two washers, and a half inch, two and a half inches long. So that's your upper links. Um, if you want to get a fancy one for the, the rear, or not the rear, the, the lower part of the link, um, it's an M12 by 1.5. So if you want to get you a fancy flange nut for that, just for shits and gigs, M10. So majority of all the sway bar stuff on the truck is metric, but we're swapping over to some standard. All right, so we got the uppers and the lowers taken care of. Um, if you're wondering about the part numbers that I got from Moog, it's these ones, rear and front links. So get you two of both of these, and they did come with all the bushings and everything like you're looking at except the bolts i went and got those all right so that takes care of the links now for these guys the axles on the bushings um for the rear on this i used the factory u-bolt um this is off the front fyi but the rear looks very similar the rear was an m10 also so the rear is also an m10 but the front's an m12 so keep that in mind um, I went ahead and just cleaned up my U-bolts and I just put on new nuts. So I just got new flange nuts for the rear um, and the front. So yeah, we're good there. Front's M12, rear is M10, okay? Um, and then for the bushings, I went ahead and went with these Moog ones right there. You can see the part number if you want it. So I got two packs of these because they come in pairs. Um, the rear was no problem and the front passenger was no problem. They fit perfect. Um, but when I was on the Moog website looking for front sway bar ones, they didn't have one in an inch and an eighth sway bar. And that's what my sway bar is on the front too. Let's see. Refraction, yeah. Oh, that is not right. We, got, we need to zero this bad boy out. Right, there we go. So my sway bar. Is about about an inch and an eighth. Yeah. There you go. I need a new battery in that thing. I didn't even forget how to use this. Yeah, inch and an eighth. So front and rear inch and an eighth. But on the Moog website, I couldn't find any inch and an eighth front ones. They were all way too big, way too small, way too small, and that was it. They have no other front sway bars. So I was like, oh, maybe it just runs for the, the for these, you know, the rears do the front. And on the passenger side, it does. But for the driver's side, they have one weird one. And I was like, what the heck? And now I did notice energy suspension has that weird one. But I was like, well, what the heck? But they didn't have any rears at all. So it was on their website. There's no rear sway bars pushing. So I was like, what the heck? Even their complete kit doesn't have it in there. It just has that one, just, just for the front. So is he right there? I don't know. It was, I don't know what the heck's going on or whatever. I guess if you want to do it correctly, buy the energy suspension front one and then the moog rear and you'd fit like a glove but other than that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take my flap disc trim this lip off because they are the same bushing almost and then trim the bottom so i'm just gonna trim this till it looks like that because that driver's side bracket is really weird it, 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 that's not gonna happen but it does fit in there almost so yeah I don't know what to tell you. Get four of these, trim it, trim one, or get NRC suspension fronts and Moog rear. I don't know. But for the axle little bushing, yeah, that was the part number. So, yeah, 
I think that about covers that. So the front U-bolts are M12, the rears are M10, okay? Now for the track bar, um, they're in M14. Um, I kind of had to kill mine to get it out. So what I did to get it out was uh, I took a grinder right there till the bolt, till I made it all the way through the bolt. And then I gave it a couple wax with the hammer and everything and it, it eventually popped out. And yeah, that's pretty much how I got the bolt out. The top one came out no problem. It's gonna be fun pushing them out. I'll tell you what. So, well, I was about to start pushing them out. So I just took the the grinder and I just snipped off this piece. I went boop. And I'm gonna try to just push it out. If not, I'm gonna take some drill bits and run it around till they pop out, and then I'm gonna paint it. But yeah, but the track bar is pretty straightforward. But they have an M14 bolt, and I went with a 9/16 bolt. It's just like the issue with the upper links um it's a little bigger it's a little bigger so right here's my little little cheat sheet so this is the the stock bolt exactly and so it's about you know 0.54 inches fat and the 9 16 is just a little fatter um minor four inches um everywhere was out of stock on three and a halfs but if i were to get it again i'd get a three and a half inch bolt but other than that, it does fit actually pretty nice. It fits really snug into these, but I think with a couple of wax and a hammer, it'll slide through. But on the truck, they fit a lot better than the M14s. Let's see. They fit in there really nice. So 916s, I feel like it's just gonna be a lot tighter fit. I like so this is why I would have gone with the three and a halfs it's a little long but it does clear um I might put it going in that way to be safe so it is what it is uh, this is a lot of info so but basically here's my whole shopping list if I were to redo it again you know you got all your bolts so yeah but all right, guys, uh, oh, no, let me take a break for a second. That was a lot of talking. And uh, I guess we'll start. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I've done on the truck. Just give me a break. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you what I got done on the old truck so far. Uh, so she was really dirty. Like, I was like, I started cleaning it uh, or putting stuff, taking it off. And I was like, we're just going to clean this. This looks pretty bad. And it was like, like a, just like a layer of grime on the axles. She probably lost like 10 pounds of dirt off these axles. Like, I'm not kidding you. Like, I mean, there's probably like at least a pound on myself. I was pitch black yesterday. Like, this was just off the front axle. It's pretty bad. Yeah, like it was, it was nasty. Um, but the, the axles look really good now. Um, so let me show you these bad boys. So, let's start with the rear. Oh. All right, let me just flip the camera. All right, guys, so here she is. Looks a lot better than before, huh? So uh, we got our upper links in. We got our bushings all set up. Got those bad boys in and everything. Cleaned up the axle, just flat black. Oh. Came out pretty nice, so got that there. Uh, these are three and a half or three inch bolts. So that's why I said get two and a half for front and rear. Um, my hardware still only had three. So I was like, I will do two threes and two, two and a halfs, put the long ones in the rear. So if you can get four, I'll get four, but you know, th three is no problem. It's not like it's gonna hit anything. So, and now uh, I got new bolts for these. Uh, these are at the M10s. Um, here, here's the M12s. So they're, they're a little bigger, a little bigger stud and everything. Oh, I'll probably just show you right here. Don't mind how rusty this U-bolt is. I wouldn't mind replacing it when I get a chance. But yeah, uh, the bushings fit like a glove. Everything just looks a lot better. There's some cheapo flat black spray paint from Home Depot. Um, uh, that cleaned up the rear too. The rear looks freaking sweet. It's nice and pretty. Give you a nice booty shot. 
So, all right, let's go. The, the front axle was pretty bad. Front axle was gnarly, uh, but she's all cleaned up. It looks a lot better than before. So, yeah. Uh, this is this was a lot of work, a lot of work, um, and everything. But yeah, so this uh, this is why I was talking about getting a washer for the for the front because um, it only has one thing versus the rear has the double bracket thing. So, God, look at that. That looks sexy. I like it. So, yeah. Well, this is where I'm at right now. So, oh, I cleaned up the front too. The front came out pretty nice. It's the big old glare. There you go. Yeah, front axle. Nice. So, yeah, it all came out pretty nice. So, all right, well, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these track bar bushings out, get the track bar painted and ready. Um, and uh, then we're gonna put the sway bar in first, then the track bar. So, let me go ahead and get everything set up and, uh, yeah, show you uh, what it looks like. Hopefully, I hope this thing drives a lot better. Hope it starts like, you know, cornering like a Ferrari or something. You know, 7.3 power is just ridiculous. So, all right, I'll catch you on in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm trimming that one uh, uh, bushing, the, the one weird one on the driver's side to match this one for the weirdo bracket. Um, and it is sit, it sits pretty tall. Um, blah, 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 blah. Like, like all the other ones are like this big and they're pretty tall. You can see. But like this part, it's... You can make this one out of this one. So um, to trim it, I was bringing a sawzall. It was actually working pretty good. So that that was cutting it like butter. And then to trim the lips off, like this one I left a little bit on, but to trim the lip off, I just used the wire wheel it seemed to work pretty good like let's see. so that's all i did for that um but yeah uh not that hard to make it uh, i think it's pretty cool so uh let me get all these bushings in there and uh, let's get ready to install these okay guys so got the sway bar all ready to go got my track bar ready to go got our bolts right there um i did go ahead and just cut them down to three and a half um but yeah that's pretty much it they're super thick spacers for it so uh i want to go ahead and put the sway bar on first because the track bar will be in the way it'd just be easier to put in the sway bar without the track bar but uh pulled the truck in and uh we got a new leak it's never ending projects just leaking from the upper uh, cooler line. Hopefully it's just loose. But yay. So let me clean that up. We're gonna put the sway bars on and then I'll deal with that. Hopefully it's just loose, but let me get the links on and then this bad boy. Okay guys, I got my track bar, I mean sway bar all on there. Looking nice and pretty. Look at that, that looks way better. And that axle looks a thousand times better. I'm stoked on it. So next up is the track bar. So I got my bolts ready. My extra thick washers. Um, I cut them down to three and a half just cause. So yep, it's gonna be nice. It's like that. Easy peasy kind of. But um, this is why I said put the sway bar on first because the track bar is all in the way. Versus if you do the sway bar first, it's nothing's in the way. And then now we'll do the track bar and nothing else is in the way. So, all right, well, let me put these two bolts in and uh, show you what she looks like. All right, guys. We got the track bar and the sway bar all in, looking nice and pretty. God, that looks so much better. So, got our new links 
Uh, we got our half inch uh, bolts up there that are two and a half inches long. Um, we got our new 9 16 three and a half inch bolts right there. Looking beautiful. Yeah, I'm stoked with it. And then we got our new M12 nuts on here. So we got our M12 nuts with our just our original U-bolt. Same on both sides. Except on this side, I did run new bolts and nuts. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty stoked. You got our new little link. And then don't forget on the front, uh, put the, the washer. But other than that, I mean, the front looks awesome. Let's just take a, a minute and appreciate it. And let's take a moment to see what it used to look like. The sway bar bushings, you know, they're not looking too hot, you know. They got like a little bit of play in there. It's definitely a gap right there. Yeah, you can see it. The front's not too bad, but now we come down to the rear of this rust bucket. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh God. Whoa. That stud is gone. For sure. The metal on metal right there. <laughs> and then the back ain't doing much better either. So that side's okay. But God, that was awful. This looks so much better. This thing's like a like a stadium trophy truck now. <laughs> so and then uh, I guess we'll take a look at the rear real quick. Finish out this video, so. Got new links on the rear. Um, same thing, this is two and a half inch or half inch bolt. Um, I'd recommend two and a half. My hardware store didn't have it, but they had threes. So that's a three inch, but get, get yourself a two and a half. Um, no washer needed there, just a flange and bolt and a flange nut. And that's an M10 if you wanna beef up that nut. Those two, uh, I use a stock U bolt, but I use uh, new M10 flange bolts for both sides. So, and then we cleaned her up. Looks way better. So hell yeah. But next project that old Dixie just told me she wanted me to do right now uh, is that line on the trans. Uh, it started leaking after inspection. It's a rusty line leaking right there. Not the fitting or the threads, it's the line. I think the line rusted out. But I think uh, I have those fittings and I'll make that line. I don't know if one doing right, are still open. But I don't want to fire it up because she just starts spewing out of there. Um, but I'll, I'll give that to old Dixie. Um, she knows when to break down. Uh, she's never left me stranded. The only time is uh, me not paying attention to the fuel gauge. Uh, that's the only time she's left me stranded, but it's usually a block from the gas station. Uh, but other than that, she's broke down probably a handful of times just in the driveway. So she definitely knows when to hold them and fold them at the best time. I'll give her that one. She's an old girl, she a project, I know it. So it is what it is. She's an old rusty truck. So I uh, just want to show you a little oil or trans cooler lines, um, how I fixed them. Just, just some more info, why not? So uh, the lines are 5 16 and how I fix them. Uh, these are the original factory ones. And uh, I decided to bypass the total factory cooler setup. And I just snipped it there, ran my own coolers, and then um, just slid some 3 8 uh, uh, fuel line over it. And then I just clamped it and called it a day. And it, it's held up good on my end, but this is the line that failed. And it was right in that rusty spot. You can kind of see where it's seeping through. And then someone decided to use channel locks to put it on. So I'd usually get them off. Luckily I got them off and I figured, hey, why not just replace them both? I don't want any hiccups down the road. So uh, I went ahead and got two of them. Um, I just went down to AutoZone. Um, so I got this one and see how it already has the ends flanged and it's already got the fittings. And I just took a Dremel and I just cut off one fitting off each of the lines. Um, this line is 12 inches and then this one was 20 inches. So 
You got your 20 inch and your, and your 12 inch. That's what I used. I really like how now this end is flanged. So when I slid my hose over and I clamped it down, I know it's definitely not gonna slide off. So I really like that. Now, old Dixie. I love it, I love it. She, she does have a way of telling me stuff, you know. She don't ever break out down, you know, on the road. She's always in the driveway. She'll start pissing something and be like, hey, you should come look at this. And I'm glad she did because my trans bolts, there was this one on this side and it was halfway undone. And it took me a minute to unscrew because this sucker is long. And then the other side had the wrong bolt in there. It was a half inch. So these are all supposed to be M12. This is an M12 that's way too long, and this was a half inch. And then um, I just decided to replace the two nuts on there too. Um, luckily I have tons of M12 stuff because the seats and the Super Duties are all M12s. So I was able to replace, get her bolted down correctly and get the tubing down correctly. So let me show you what I did. So uh, we got our new line on the back. This one was fine, but went ahead and replaced it anyways. Coming down here. I just threw three clamps on there, it's overkill, but the flange is sitting right there, right on the back of this clamp. Um, I already started the truck, she don't leak. And this is the upper one that was leaking, so I bent it down here, and I just bent them just like factory and everything. So, same thing, just three clamps, and the flange is sitting there, and then these go up to my coolers and the grill. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then right here, this is the bolt that was like hecka loose. Um, and then this side had the wrong one in there. So glad I got those fixed, put some red thread locker and tighten them up real good. And then I put some uh, better nuts on here that won't come loose. They're the, the ones that are like oblonged. They're the same ones we used on uh, this stuff right here. So I know they're not coming off, uh, but all this stuff right here was M12. This tubing and everything was 5 16 So the more you know, but heck yeah, so. Like I say, she can go for a drive now, so I'll probably drive her in the morning and I'll let y'all know how she drives. I'm hoping she'll be banking around them corners on the freeway like a Ferrari, you know, so I'll catch y'all later for an update. But other than that, I clean my trans pan and all that. She's looking pretty, so I'm stoked. This truck's looking good. It's looking good, so I'll catch y'all in the morning. Hi, guys. We're about to go for the first drive. Stop. Does it already feels a little better? So we're gonna hop on the freeway over here, and there's like a, a loop for you, like an on ramp where you go, Wah! and that's when I've always had a lot of body roll going around, and where I notice it the most. So I'm excited to see how it does it. Mock, oh my god, around this bowl. So let's head on over there. Ah, here we go. So, been driving around all day, running errands, picking up junk. Um, probably done about 50 miles on her. And uh, she definitely handles a lot better. There's definitely noticeably less body roll and the steering's tighter because of that track bar for sure. Um, I used to always have a little bit of slack in the wheel. And now it's like, it's tight. Um, and then the new training lines are holding up pretty good. The rear axle's looking amazing. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so I do have um, airbags. I know we just picked up some freight, so I do got some weight back on there. 
So I'm curious to see how her body roll is with weight in the back without any air in the in the bags. So Ooh, look at that booty. Look at that booty. So hell yeah. She's definitely driving a lot better. I'm definitely happy with it. So yep, but uh time to go home, see how she does with some weight. So I've always had a little slack in the steering wheel like that while I drive, but now it's like, it's tight, but I noticed it's a little to the right because now it's where it's supposed to be. So I think I got to adjust the drag link a little bit, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's give it one good little walk around. Ooh, ooh, old Dixie. Oh, look at that. All right, guys, catch y'all later. But I'm, I'm stoked with this. Couldn't be more happy. Catch y'all later. All right, guys, made it home. Uh, I'm stoked with it. I should have done these sway bars a long time ago. She's always had a lot of body roll and the steering's always had a lot of slack. I was like, ah, she's an old truck. But no, I mean, she handles freaking awesome now. Uh, I'm definitely happy with it. She, you know, training all weekend. These axles look a little extra sexy, so. Hell yeah, could be happier with those bushes, so. All right, guys, well, uh, that officially ends the video. Uh, hope you learned something or whatever, but uh, I got more projects to do. Got one sitting here, I got one sitting there. I got a million sitting in here. So I'll, I'll see y'all later. Time to get busy. Woo -woo.